Typically, you use adhesive based mesh tape to strengthen joints during drywall installation. It is also very useful when trying to repair drywall line cracks. You can also use it to repair drywall holes by putting it on top of the hole. In this video, we'll be exploring another way how you can use drywall mesh tape to provide extra strength and support inside the hole. This might be useful if you're trying to strengthen drywall anchor and need small area inside drywall to provide additional extra strength. And this is what we'll be focusing in this video. So stay here with me on this channel. I used this mesh tape technique on multiple projects. I used it to strengthen drywall anchor, which was supporting heavy mirror and became loose. I've also used it to fill about one inch hole in drywall after removal of the wall humidifier control. Some advantages of using this method. Your working area is much smaller. When you use mesh tape on top of the drywall, you end up with the large working area and then you need to cover it with texture and paint. If you can find the original texture and original paint, this is no issue. But if you can't, like in my case, the smaller the area means that the smaller noticeable imperfections after the repair. And then the second advantage is that you can provide additional reinforcements inside the wall. By putting mesh tape inside the wall and mixing it with spackle, you provide additional strength inside the wall. This is especially useful if you are trying to repair loose wall anchors. You can't move them to a different spot and need to specifically repair them in one particular spot in the drywall. And now let's look at how you can fix drywall holes with this method step by step. To complete this repair, we will be using six inch drywall knife, drywall patch spackle, and drywall mesh tape. All links to the tools needed are in the description of the video. Make sure to check them out. First step in the process is to do an assessment of what you're dealing with. Check for wires and make sure they're not in the way. I had open low voltage wires since the hole in this example was created from removal of old humidifier control. I ended up applying electrical tape on open wires and hiding them inside the hole. In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to patch holes for up to one inch in diameter. If the hole is under half inch, you can just apply patching spackle without adding drywall mesh tape. Hole shown in the example is about one inch in diameter, and I needed to provide some reinforcement for the spackle, and mesh tape is a perfect for that. After I inserted the mesh tape into the hole, I covered it with the drywall patch spackle using drywall knife. After that, I left it to dry out overnight. Manufacturer mentioned that it's a quick dry spackle and it can dry in about 30 minutes. Maybe it does in some other regions of the country, but unfortunately it didn't work for me. And uh, from experience I had with this spackle, I had to wait at least three hours. So I just decided to left it overnight to let it dry. And then the last step in the process is you want to lightly sand it next day, apply texture paint, and then the final paint coat to match the original color of the wall. Some helpful tips. You can clean up leftovers of drywall patch spackle with the wet paper towel. Once speckle dries out, you can only use sanding paper to create finished look, but it creates a mess. If you use paper towel though 15 to 20 minutes after you apply the patch, while spackle is still wet, this way you can avoid mess created by sanding. Another tip is to do multiple application of the patch. First would be a draft application and second would be a finished one. When you do your first patch, the hole may not blend perfectly with the wall. Leave it to dry out overnight and let your draft patch harden. You can make another coat of patch next day to create smooth surface and make it blend with existing drywall much better. This concludes our tutorial. Wish you all the best and good luck on your project. Have you enjoyed this episode? Make sure to subscribe so you will not miss the next one.
and tell your friends about it. You can find links and downloads in the description section of this video. There are a lot of helpful links and a lot of other helpful information you will benefit from. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.